Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And this video is going to be a little bit uh, of a different type of twist, but something that's really important. Um, there's not enough videos out there talking about how you invest your money in the farm, and particularly starting up a small farm. Um, investment and handling your money is extremely important. So I made two investments this spring. I've got here, this is a 2006 Honda 250 Quad. Um, it's mainly the use in the farm is going to be for carrying feed and eggs in and out uh, to the pasture. It's a little two-wheel drive machine, so they're pretty easy to come by and it cost me 2,000 euros. And on this side, I bought myself a new bicycle. Um, I didn't need to buy a new one. I could have got a second-hand one, but I splashed out on myself and I got, this was uh, 330 euros. But I just want to talk to you about the numbers behind these and how I make decisions if I'm going to invest my money in something or not and how long the return is on them. So let's take a quick look at how these fare out. Before I got the quad, I would have to make three trips in the morning uh, out to the pasture and that's mainly with feed and with the winch and I could be carrying up to 18 kilos at a time. So it was quite physical work. And then again, in the afternoon, I would be making six trips um, in and out of the pasture, and that's going to be carrying feed out to the layers, the broilers, and also carrying eggs back in. Again, carrying anytime, any, anywhere up to 18 kilos. The average distance of a trip, and now this depends on how far away the animals are from the farmyard, but the average is about 175 metres. So the total distance I would travel in a day uh, normally with a load is one and a half kilometers or 100 or 1575 meters and that would take me 20 minutes per day to do all that traveling to and from and that would equivalent to two hours and 20 minutes over the over the week and now that i've got the quad it will be one trip in the morning so we'll just load up the quad in the morning take everything we need and drop it off as we go around the pasture and in the afternoon, it'll be the exact same one trip again. Uh, we'll take everything out and then we'll collect the eggs and take everything back in. So that's going to take about three minutes per day of moving on the quad, which will equivalent to 21 minutes per week. So if we compare the two, the quad is going to give us a saving of 119 minutes per week, or that's two hours. And uh, if we just take a basic uh, hourly labor cost of 15 euros an hour, because we want to equivalent this time to money, to see what kind of the financial savings we can make. So at two hours a week, that's 30 euros a week a saving. And now we don't be on the pasture all year round. So it equivalents to about a yearly saving of 800 euros. And remember that's a saving in time, which we're converting to euros. The cost of the machine is 2000 euros. Now taking into the account the running costs, which will be fuel, uh, maintenance, in three years it will have paid for itself and then it'll continue to save us 30 euros a week thereafter so for our investment of 2000 euros um, in three years the quad will have paid for itself and then it'll save us 30 euros a week now there is the added benefit of the physical the physical labor required that it's it's fine for me i don't mind uh, carrying stuff um, but if neve's doing the chores for instance um, it's a lot of stuff for her to carry in and out. So, and as I get older and older, um, I guess my body isn't going to be as fit. Now, looking at this, you would say, Gee, why didn't I have a quad up to now? Um, that return isn't terribly great. Um, you know, taking three years for something to pay back. Like, if we say, for instance, an egg mobile, I can build an egg mobile for 2,000 euros. And an egg mobile can return, you know, a turnover of 30,000 euros a year with a net of maybe 15,000 um, over a year, which is way more than 30 euros a week or 800 euros a year. It's quite a bit more. So um, I had time available, so I didn't mind spending two hours a week walking in and out. But now as uh, my time becomes more limiting, um, I need to, to maybe squeeze out the extra minutes wherever I can. And I can also convert that time. So those two hours a week I saved, I can increase production. I spend that time increasing production, which increase is my profitability. If we take a look at the bike. So before I had the bike, I would have to get up, walk, leave the house, walk to the honesty box. Then I would go to the farm and do the chores and come home again. And that would happen three times a day. So morning, lunchtime and evening. 
Uh, one trip takes me six minutes. It's about 750 meters or three quarters of a kilometer of a trip, round trip. So that'll be six minutes walking, which would be 18 minutes per day or two hours and six minutes a week. Now, after the bike, I still have to make the same three trips a day, but now I can make the trip in two minutes. Okay, so that's six minutes a day or 42 minutes a week. So if we do the comparison, the bike is saving me 84 minutes per week. And we take our average labor cost of 15 euros that we used in the same example for the quad. Uh, the bike saves me 19 euros and 60 cents per week. And I have to do that all year round. So it makes me a thousand euros of a saving per year. Now the initial cost of the bike is 330 euros and taking into account any running costs which are practically non-existent, maybe a puncture, it will pay for itself in four months and then continue to give me 20 euros a week thereafter. So if you remember the quad took three years to pay back and then saved us 30 euros a week, the bicycle can pay us back in four months and save us 20 euros a week thereafter. So looking at this example, the bike is clearly, if you had limited funding, the bike is clearly where you should spend your money. Now, I am using these as an example. They could be two, you're going to have limited capital to invest and you could have two potential enterprises or pieces of infrastructure you want to invest in. This is the kind of thinking you need to break it down to to decide which one you're going to invest in. Like I said, up to this point, I've been investing in things that give me much better return, like egg mobiles, chicken tractors, cobbly goes, polytunnels. Um, but as your farm develops, finding places to invest money that's going to give you, you know, great return, like an egg mobile, those opportunities aren't as much. So you're 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 like in my instance here, where you're going after time now, and you're investing in things that are going to save you time, and. Like the, the bike is a good example. I could actually go out and probably find a second hand bike for free and really save all that time. So we're, what we're actually analyzing here is time in motion and um, investing capital and trying to balance all these things. So it's a really good example there. And uh, for me, it's it's just like you would, you would automatically think that the quad is the best investment here. Um, you know, it's going to be the best. But in fact, the bicycle is hands down a much better investment. And that's it for today's video, guys. Just wanted to give you kind of an insight into the thought process I go through when I'm making investments on the farm. And it's really important that you think through your investments before you spend money, because at the early stages of a farm, that can really catapult you along if you make smart investments. If every euro can make you two more euros quickly, then that's good investment. That'll help get your farm up and running. And then as, as your farm develops, then you're making more investments that, that are definitely not going to have big returns on them, but they're going to make your life easier. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.